Are you tired about hearing about the same old side hustles? Well, guess what? I've got some pretty cool ones that probably you haven't heard of and they all pay pretty well. So stay tuned because in addition to that, I also have a free resource for you that will give you even more ideas for your side hustle. Well, you guys, starting a side hustle is often the very first step in being able to leave your nine to five job or your corporate desk and do your own thing. And if that sounds interesting to you, then you have definitely found the right channel. Please go ahead and subscribe and also hit that notification bell because I come out with new videos every Wednesday full of information like this and you're going to want to be notified as soon as it comes out. Well, I am pretty excited to tell you guys about these side hustles because they're really cool. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, I am Heather and I help people ditch the nine to five and start freedom based businesses. And many of my clients started the process with doing a side hustle. So let's get right to it. The first side hustle is called viable or viable. I honestly don't know how to say it. I'll put a link to it below. But basically what it is, is you sign up through their website to be a local tour guide. So if you have particular knowledge about your city or your area and you like to meet people, there are going to be people who are visiting your hometown or visiting your city and they're going to want a tour guide. So you can sign up. You can give them the best bar tour they've ever had or a scooter tour, which is something here in Scottsdale a lot of people do. Or let's say you're more into the nature thing. If you know great hiking trails in your area or kayaking, you sign up, you put your services on their website, and they will match you with people who are coming to your city for vacation. And by the way, maybe it's called Vayable because of vacation. I don't know, just a guess. And they match you and they see, oh yeah, she looks great at this or he looks awesome at that. And they contact you. You can set your own hours. You can set your own rates. Most people, it seems, go anywhere from $25 an hour to $200 an hour, depending on the services that they are providing. So if you're enthusiastic about your city or your town, you like to meet people, it might be a fantastic side gig for you. All right, moving on to number two. Now, you probably all have heard of Amazon, but a lot of people are not aware of Amazon Home Services. Think of it as kind of like Angie's List, but through Amazon, is there anything Amazon doesn't touch? I don't think so. Anyway, you do have to apply for it. You go through the Amazon application process and you offer your services. It could be plumbing or painting or car repair. Uh, once you're approved into their system, then you will be in their database and people who are looking for those services will contact you and honestly being stamped by Amazon's, yes, I give you the thumbs up, that actually carries a lot of weight. Similar to the last one we talked about, you do get to pick your own rates, your hours, whatever you want. So it really does make a great side hustle for those of you who have a skill that you would like to offer to other people. Now, I am curious with all of these various side hustles, how many hours per week do you guys want to do your side hustle? Are you thinking five hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, maybe do a full time? Go ahead and put in the comments below how many hours per week you think is ideal for a side hustle. Okay, moving on to the next one. It is a service that I've only recently heard about. It is called Plyo. I think that's how you say it. Now it is a service funded by pharmaceutical companies. And the purpose of it is when people, often the elderly, get new prescriptions, new healthcare routines, they're a little unfamiliar with how to do it and how to implement it. And if somebody's taking a new course of therapy, new courses of medications, and they don't do it right, it could have bad results. So Plyo is sponsored by the pharmaceutical companies and they hire people, you from your home if you would like to, to call the people on their list. There's no sales involved. You do not sell anything. All you are doing is offering support and guidance and help them get on the right path to taking their medications appropriately. And it's free to the patient. It does not cost them anything. 
and you're not trying to sell them anything. So they are often very happy to get a phone call from somebody saying, hey, just checking in, just wanna make sure you're doing okay with your medications. Now, it is fully scripted. There is a training process. I wanna say it's about 20 hours, um, but there's a training process that you go through and then you will know exactly what to say and you will be helping a lot of people. So if you're the type of person that wants to help and believe strongly in healthcare, that could very well be the right side hustle for you. Okay, the fourth one is one that I've seen a lot of vloggers and YouTubers talk about lately. It is called Reload and it is effectively a sort of head hunting or work referral type of service. Uh, it's very interesting how over time, how the internet has changed things and social media connections and all that kind of stuff. So this is predominantly in the healthcare field and it's trying to match potential employees with potential employers. And if you know somebody in the healthcare field that's looking for a job, you can give this database, reload their name, you refer this person to them, and then when they get hired by any number of companies, there are lots of companies that are in the database, you will get a referral fee. And it can be anything from a monthly type of referral fee, like $500 a month, or it can be a one-time flat fee, which is based on that person's salary. I've seen numbers up as high as $15,000, $20,000. So if you have a network of healthcare people, that is definitely something that you are gonna wanna check out for your side hustle. Okay, and the last one is one that, yes, you probably have heard of before, but I cannot say enough good things about it you can start a blog and it is something that you can do on the side, you can do part time, you will not be making money right away in it. But the beauty of starting a blog is that over time, the blog often will generate passive income. Now I have a lot of different videos about blogging. Here is one about how I made my first thousand dollars in my blog. I've got two blogs going. It is definitely a source of income that comes from multiple different streams of income. Blogging is what allowed me to quit my corporate job and start doing my own thing and it is like the best thing that ever happened to me. So I do highly recommend starting a blog if you are looking at starting a side hustle to eventually leave your nine to five job. All right, there you have it. Those are my latest and greatest five options for a side hustle. And I actually have some more for you. So if you click the link below, I have a PDF of 20 different streams of income ideas. So if these five weren't something you wanted to do, well, guess what? I got 20 more in that PDF. So go ahead and click that link below. Uh, and it will be delivered right to your inbox. And if this video has opened your eyes to some new ideas for a side hustle, please go ahead and subscribe. Also give it a thumbs up. And I really am doing this to try to help people. So I am curious, which of these five ideas is something that you would like to pursue the most? Go ahead and write that in the comments below. And remember, starting your side hustle really is often the first step to being able to leave your nine to five. So thank you for joining me on the Freedom Strategy and I will see you next time.